Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing the new Sol de Janeiro fragrance, none other than Cheroso 59. There has been a lot of buzz about this fragrance since maybe like December. It finally dropped at Sephora last week, Monday I believe, online that is. And of course I ordered it immediately. I got it yesterday and unboxed it, but I decided to film my first reaction. So let's see what it smells like together. I did go in store one day last week and I smelled the body butter, so I have an idea of what that smells like. But in terms of this, we're gonna find out together. And I hope I really like it. Before I spray, let me just say like, I'm not really a gourmand girl. I like a sweet floral kind of scent, but I don't like gourmand, like it's okay. So for example, the Cherosa 62, it's a beautiful scent, a caramel and pistachio, but not for me. But anyways, <sighs> that's it. And before I even spray, let me just tell you, I'm already smelling the fragrance. And it smells, it smells good so far, so let's see. So let me let that dry down a little bit. The It's giving, it immediately gives me gourmand. I'm praying that it doesn't dry down like that. Um, but let's see. So while it's drying down, let me go ahead and give you the notes that are in the fragrance. Top notes are velvet plum and sugared violet. The middle notes are vanilla orchid whipped amber. And the dry or bottom notes are sheer sandalwood and fresh vetivo. Yeah, fresh for tea. Well, I'm definitely getting a lot of vanilla, but okay, let's go. Okay, so like I said, immediately it gave me gourmand, but when it dried down, it's not giving gourmand. It's giving like a little bit of gourmand and then something else like more grown up. Okay, so the dry down is definitely given the woody gourmand vibe that they promised and I'm here for it because I'm not a total gourmand girly. So initially it's gonna come off a little sweet, but the dry down, I'm here for it. Now let's test the body butter. So when you order from Sephora, you get a free sample size of the body butter. I'm happy for that because based on the little preview I got in store, I may be going for the big one. So let's open it together and I'll tell you what I think. So for some reason, I'm loving the smell of the body butter more. It, when I smell it, it gives me a feeling of nostalgia. It smells like sugar. It reminds me of like childhood. Um, yeah. So let me try a little bit of it. So this is what the consistency of it is like. As you can see, it's not very runny or anything. Like it doesn't move. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of it to my skin and let's see how that feels. So here, this is what it looks like and it smells so nice, like it smells like, it just smells like sugar and it's very moisturizing from what I can feel here. Whether or not it will last, I'll have to come back and tell you that, but it blends out so well as you can see here, it's not very hard to get into your skin. And my hand feels very, very moisturized. And it smells so good. I love the smell of it. So if you're thinking about getting it, if you like gourmand with a little bit of something else, you can get this one. Also, just to mention, I do think they changed the packaging because I was gifted this one in December. And as you can see, like it has a lot more going on in terms of like writing. This one is a lot, this one is different. So just to know, it's, so I guess they're doing a whole, I don't know if they're doing a whole new look or if they just change it for this, but yeah, try it and let me know what you think. Me personally, I like it. I'll definitely be drawing for this one. 